the beast for a streak of 61. We start with Mega Satan Head, Seraphim. I don't want that. Dude, is this GG? We have three hearts too. We have we have above average damage. We got really bad tier, right? Speed is okay. Range is okay, even though I don't really care about range. Like, I don't know. I don't really see how we're losing this run <laughs> yet. All right, not bad. Yeah, I don't know. This is looking pretty solid so far, I gotta say. For the fans, <clears throat> Bird's Eye was definitely the better one here. But come on, I can't say no to Eden's Blessing. It's gonna make the next run better, right? Eden's Blessing to have an easy streak restart. I mean, Eden's Blessing can ruin as much as it can, as it can carry, so... Remember that Eden's Blessing run that gave us a mind together with our red key start? Or vice versa, I'm not 100% anymore. Like, Eden's Blessing can do some really fun stuff for you. And most importantly, it really spices up the runs. We get an old bandage. We don't have anything to protect our devil chance, but we should be fine. I mean... Honestly, even if I miss the devil deal on this floor, I think we're still going to be in fantastic shape. Gonna stay away from that. Like, this is this is just good. This is overall a, a super solid run. Very little to be concerned about right now. This is fine. I, you're about to eat my battery charge, my, my Satan charge, are you? Nope. Can't do that because otherwise I'll have to go into the devil deal. Just want to clear as much of the floor as possible. The, the bosses are typically not the rooms I'm worried about. But there's a lot that can happen in these rooms. I really want a lot in this room. That's just garbage. Um, I'm gonna check for a bomb mostly, which that isn't here. Have we found a bomb all run? The world. All right, uh, we can go in here. We can go in here. This doesn't eat your Devil Deal chance anymore, and we don't have blue hearts to worry about either. Fool card, stars card, not great. Hey everyone, this is your secret right. fallout of the day. If you made it this part of the video, let me know you're part of the little plum gang. As always, I'm trying to reach 2,000 subs before the end of the month, so if you haven't done so yet, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like and a sub on the video. I, I would be A-OK -okay here with a matchbook. A-OK, -okay, honestly. And I'll also take, like, a damage or a tears up, but... Okay, I mean... Again, not complaining. What do we got? Goathead and a contract from below. That seems insane. All right. Still don't have a bomb. Um... I mean, there's nothing to do here anymore. So let's leave. I could have taken a key into that room at the bottom, I guess, and tried to get get a bomb in there like it's not impossible there could be an enemy in there then i get a room drop but i'm not sure if that's really worth one of three keys i don't know you'd have to calculate what the odds are to get the bomb from it to make a more informed decision. Anyway, we're gonna want to find a lot of HP ups because we have Goathead. And Goathead uh, letting us hit all these devil deals. Hi! Um, hold up. I might be back if I find a blood donation machine. Charm of the Vampire! That is a damage up now. 
I always need to emphasize that when I find it still, even though it's been a year since it's got turned into a damage up. But yes, in the olden days, that was not a damage up. Really? That's a bit surprising. Why does everything in this room explode? Oh, nice. The tech. Oh, thank God. Everything in this room explodes. Where is the secret room? Anyway, let's kill Peep first. See what our devil deal is. I'm pretty sure Eden's Blessing was always tears up, but I might be mistaken. I'd have to do the research. Okay, we're good. Hey, Sir Glushko, welcome. Big fan of the screw, not a very big fan of that. You know, I looked at Platinum God, funny story. I, I mean, to me, it's funny to you guys. It's just an everyday thing. But uh, I looked at Platinum God the other day because I'm currently, I have a, a YouTube video in the works, a, a top 10 list, and I looked at all the items in the game to form my top 10 list. And I saw that thing and I was like, I haven't found that item in forever. Is the current version bugged or something? Like I, I legitimately can't remember the last time I found that thing. So it's actually kind of funny that it would show up now after I just thought about it. Although maybe I did find it recently and I'm just um, falling victim right now to the, uh, what is it called? Bada Meinhof phenomenon. I don't know. You decide. Nah, sure. Wow, that was not worth it. I mean, I guess whether it was worth it or not is going to depend on what I get here as my reward. But the answer is most likely no. Okay, I um take it back. Fine. What do we got? Broken modem. Don't like that thing. I think we'll just save our money. Double item drop, I'm assuming, for that drink out. Just one. It says 2% chance, but like the base percent is always 2. I don't know, it's either 4% or 2 items. No! Oh, that's bad. I would like to see that room full of hearts again on this floor because now I actually have. A blood donation machine. I'll be back for that. Actually, I can use it. Or I can't. Belt? The world's smallest belt? Uh, what are you? Joker. That doesn't really do anything with goat head, so I guess we're skipping over this. I'm gonna take the double pill. 48 hour energy. That's a good pill. Old bandage. Oh my god, old bandage infinite. <laughs> Explosivo, I think not. Eh, Explosivo is okay. It's the other one that sucks, right? So, dang. Actually, a lot cheaper than I thought. I mean, that's still expensive, but. I remember a friend to a friend of mine, they uh, planned a Japan trip just before the pandemic hit. And they told me their trip altogether cost them upwards of 5,000 bucks. Granted, they got it all refunded, right? Because, because pandemic and stuff, but yeah. Rooms like this with the with the spikes need to be illegal. And mini pins. 
That was a pretty successful Mega Satan head, if I do say so myself, though. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I never use that thing. I always take it, and then two floors later, people ask me if I forgot about it, and the answer is always yes. Like, who cares? <laughs> it's not doing anything for me. Eating at restaurants is super cheap. You can get stuffed for 5 to 10 euros? Holy shit. I can barely cook that cheaply over here. <laughs> cook myself, that is. Double trouble! Oh lordy. Gotta resist the temptation to use the Mega Satan head right now. Although the payoff of not using it here definitely outweighs the benefit of using it now and saving some time. Because not using it means I get to use it on the next floor. Because I do not intend to spend much more time here. Honestly, the run already feels one, so I kind of just want to get done with it. Temperance machine. We might as well pop that here. I'm ho mostly hoping to proc the wishbone. Really? Like, I want to see if it gives me two items. Krampus. Uh oh. Man, why does it give me all these use items? Just give me a lump of coal, my guy. It's so good with a mega Satan head, too. Well, that works. The move speed is neat. Let's just go. There's really no need to stay here any longer. I love mini pins. The amount of time they waste on your Mega Satan head is glorious. That spider was obscenely difficult to see, holy. Uh, it is beast. Actually, I should pop this here because we need to look out for the fool card anyway. I mean, we could save that for next floor. You know, we could juggle the card, but who cares? Yo, Explosivo has been putting in some work, not gonna lie. Thoroughly impressed by how that thing has performed. Oops. And then I immediately blew myself up. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Enjoy the free access to secret rooms, even if it's only two more. Two secret, two super secret. Wow, that is the mother of all bad arcades. Did I miss the X-Rock? I didn't really pay attention while I was in my brimstone frenzy. I'm still lacking the knowledge. Thanks for the item descriptions. Can you actually read them that fast? <laughs> Because that's impressive, because I don't think I could. But you're welcome. I'm glad it enhances the viewing experience. What do we do? Uh, I mean, sure. Can I get the satan head to double charge for the beast fight? I kind of want to. 
I want to blarg all over the beast. Oops. I'm getting distracted. Hold up one second. The sun is coming out. I'm getting a ridiculous glare right now. I gotta close the, the blind. Excuses, excuses. You know, I, I really don't know. I really don't know how long do I still need to mis make this mistake for until I finally learn. Every time I stream and I decide not to shut the blind, at some point the sun comes out and like exactly the opposite of that window. Like there's a window behind the monitor I'm playing the game on, right? And like exactly on the opposite side of the street, there's a, a, a large white house. And, and every time the sun falls on it, I get the worst glare. And every time I'm like, ah, you know what? I'm not feeling the, the front light and the, the colored the colored backlight too much today. I'm going to try it without it. And then I regret it deeply. Every time. Every time. Is there a scheduled visit from Miss Probs? Miss Probs is still at work. And after that, she goes to visit a friend of hers. So that's scheduled visit. There's no scheduled visit, but if you want to schedule one, it's, it's going to be a while. You know, I don't really see this run dying, but I can easily see this run taking another half hour to finish. I don't know, this boss fight. Like, we're not weak per se, but we have four tier rate and four damage. It's not a lot of damage output. It's like just enough to not feel uncomfortable in the end game. Problem is also mom doesn't stay on the screen long enough for Explosivo to do its thing. That's a, a big advantage we're gonna have in the beast fight is that all these guys actually take Explosivo damage. I guess that is a good point. Like Subsequent boss fights are gonna be a lot nicer. Um, I don't think I want Heartbreak. I, I prefer the damage. I'll definitely take that. That's insane. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna get flight in the beast fight, and I think I'd rather have the three hearts than 0.75 damage, so... Zoop! The fool. How have the MMR runs been going, by the way? Yes, I did a stream yesterday. That's gonna be on YouTube too, by the way, tomorrow. I did a stream yesterday where I sat down and said, I'm gonna be playing this rando until I finish it. And I did! It was a really good C to be fair, like it was actually the fastest rando I've had so far. I mean, it's easy to say because I finished, this is the only one I finished, right? But like, I I always only ended the others after they were solved anyway, right? And I can say with confidence that was by far the fastest I've ever had. Um, so yeah. But yeah, that run's gonna be on YouTube tomorrow, and if people enjoy it, there's gonna be more of those on YouTube as well. If not, they're gonna be limited to Twitch. But I am looking to diversify my content on YouTube soon, TM. It's still gonna be primarily Isaac. But um, I also know the woes of actually building your channel off of a single thing alone, and I'm not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> I should have totally used the Mega Satan head here. I had enough. Um, I have enough time to get the second charge. Wow, that was insanely annoying on low damage. Actually surprised how annoying that was. Oh no. Okay, I'm taking a bit too much damage for comfort. I still have to go through the entire ascent, which has a lot of enemies guaranteed to deal a full heart. 
Actually, I think the, the Ascend in general is just one damage per hit. So we need to be a bit more careful. You know what? Same procedure as usually on Beastrons. We're gonna... Ooh. We're going to save that. Chances are we're gonna be buying the Parasite. But you know, there's a possibility that whatever is on that... Ooh. Whatever is on that question mark pedestal is better and we're gonna see in the Ascent what it is. A bit late for the map. Don't care about the nightlight. Does that do anything with Mega Satan? Science! Yeah, you can bomb poops next to next to holes and they act like rocks. I mean, I still want to see if the Wishbone can do anything for me. <laughs> Doubtful it will, but... Doesn't it double my... Actually, now that you mention it, it might. I'm not 100%. Anyway, um... I want to at least blow up the machine for another roll to try and find a Soul Heart. I think that's reasonable. Well... That's not a soul heart, but it gives me a black heart, so <laughs> I'll take it. Well, contrary to young people's belief, 40 really isn't that old. Oops. But you know what? I get it. When I was like 18, I called my cousin old too. And she was like 25 at the time. I enjoy the part where we don't let it rip us off, and so if you can give me the star attack again... No? Okay. And I'm really glad I have all this move speed. This attack is way more annoying when you're not fast as F boy. Thank you. Anyway, it's time for the fun part. Oops. Won't lie, this went by a lot slower than I thought it would. I mean, that was still solid, don't get me wrong. I mean, that was really solid. Oh, strength card, right. Maybe it goes by faster now. <laughs> Let's go. Also, this guy doesn't move around as much. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah, would you look at that? That was much better. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I take it back. This is really good. <laughs> Wait, are you saying I need to fight death the vanilla way? That is actually appalling. 
Also, what was that? Excuse you? It's a bit awkward to control because of the constant knockback from the brimstone laser. There we go. Okay, I can say with confidence that that was actually the most fun beast fight I've ever had. <laughs>